During this year's WWDC, Apple announced a bunch of new glucose features from glucose highlights to glucose trends. And in my opinion, there could not have been a clearer indication that they are working on an Apple Watch which has glucose monitoring built in. I have personally been using the iOS 15 beta for a couple of days now and I've been trying some of these new features that they have announced. And in this video, I'll be breaking down exactly what Apple announced and what I think it means for the future of the Apple Watch. Hello, it's Camille Nordberg, your diabetes tech guy. If you're new here, please make sure you subscribe to catch all of the newest videos about diabetes technology, from interviewing CEOs of med tech companies to breaking down the newest announcements. And we've got a lot to talk about today. So to recap, during Monday's WWDC, Apple announced loads of new health features, including walking steadiness to track your movements, data sharing with loved ones, similar to what we might know as Dexcom Share or Dexcom Follow, improved cycle tracking, and loads more. Two new health features that stood out to me, a super nerdy person living with diabetes, are glucose trends and glucose highlights. So let's break those down, starting with glucose highlights. So during Monday's keynote, Apple didn't actually talk about glucose highlights, they just had it listed on a slide as one of the new health features. And I've since learned how this actually works in the real world. So Blue Glucose Highlights is an intelligent notification system which delivers a summary, a smart highlight, about your blood glucose level during a particular activity, especially sleep or exercise. Now even though I have iOS 15, I actually cannot try Blue Glucose Highlights out because as of today it's a US only capability, so you cannot use it if you use the beta outside of the US. But based on the code, we can look at some sample notifications that Apple would generate using these highlights. Those might include your blood glucose range from 100 to 160 while you were asleep, or here is a look at your blood glucose while you were sleeping recently. On a similar note, a similar highlight of your glucose activity would appear after a workout. So as you can see, blood glucose highlight requires a continuous delivery of glucose information. Basically, it requires a continuous glucose monitor because it is impossible to generate insights and highlights like this with a static glucose value from a blood glucose meter. At this point, these smart highlights are generated based on the data in Apple's Health app. And the only CGM currently working with Apple Health is Dexcom. Now, this feature alone, in my opinion, tells us a lot about Apple's glucose strategy. Apple wants to educate people who normally would never analyze or look at their glucose data during activities such as exercise or bedtime. In fact, Apple is telling us all about glucose within iOS with so much information about why tracking glucose is important, how to measure it, including referencing CGM, and even how to manage blood glucose levels. And the question is, does the general population wear Dexcom? Well, no. Most people would never even consider tracking glucose during exercise or during bedtime. And this is where the Apple Watch comes in. Now, like I've been saying before, Apple has been adding so many health capabilities to the Apple Watch over the last couple of years. As an outsider, it really feels like the completely changed the main purpose of the Apple Watch. Within the first couple of generations, the Series 1, 2 and 3, they really focused on it as a fashion piece. I mean, they had an Apple Watch for £25,000, which was like gold. And that has completely changed from a fashion piece to a health piece. I mean, they barely talk about fashion with the Apple Watch these days. It's all about... I mean, they say it in the heading. The future of your health is on your wrist. That is literally the tagline of the Apple Watch. And glucose monitoring for the watch has been rumored for years. And I never really talked about it here because it's something that we heard rumors about for 20 years, even before the Apple Watch was around. It just was this random mass and I just didn't want to add to the conspiracy theories and all of the drama that people talk about online. However, 
with launch of iOS 15 and all of these health capabilities, I can actually see this happening. And I don't know if this is going to happen with Series 7. It might not, it might do. But it's clear that they're really interested in glucose. And now, so I am now pretty confident that this is actually going to happen at some point. Now, regardless of when it happens, I think Blue Glucose Highlights gives us a really good indication of what that will be like when it is launched. So as you can see, Apple has really focused on activities like exercise and bedtime. So this is a product that if it were to happen, it would be aimed at the general population to give people who probably would never even consider monitoring their glucose, to give them an insight into what the glucose profile is like overnight. And driving this back to the point of probably why most of you are watching this video, if and when this were to happen, it would not be a medical device, meaning I, as a person living with diabetes, I would not be able to make any medical treatment decisions based on values from such device. It would be aimed at the general population to tell them about how their sleep patterns correlate with their blood glucose and to give them insights on how to improve their sleep or maybe how specific exercises impact their glucose and food and all these other parts but it, it wouldn't be aimed at people living with diabetes. Now having said all of that that I am confident that glucose measuring will probably come to Apple Watch at some point in the future and it will be aimed at the general population it just feels like such an, an Apple thing to do. You know, this is a company that is more than capable of adding a feature like blood glucose highlights to iOS or watchOS when they do actually launch a blood glucose monitoring capable Apple Watch. And for a company that is so focused on secrecy and so focus on attention to detail. I mean, we are talking about a company that timed Apple Watches of all presenters during WWDC to 10.09, so we have no idea in what order they actually taped all these recordings. You know, we are not dealing with a company that's, they are so, so good at what they do. There's a part of me which says that this has actually nothing to do with the watch and it's just, recognizing that CGMs are being used more and more and, you know, given users that capability. So I guess the bottom line on Blood Glucose Highlights launched in iOS 15 is that you will be able to have a better view of your blood glucose level during your workouts and your bedtime. And we just need to wait to see what happens with the watch. Another feature Apple launched in iOS 15 is health trends. This feature is available globally and it looks holistically at your glucose data over time and it identifies long-term trends like your glucose is higher this week compared to last week. The entire experience of using health trends is very intuitive and a super easy and convenient way of looking at your glucose data more holistically. You can also see daily average and how it changes over time and scroll through your entire glucose history to have a long-term overview. This provides a super clear picture of your glucose profile over a number of months. Health trends are available for many health metrics, including insulin delivery, sleep, steps, blood oxygen, if you have Apple Watch Series 6, and more. All trends from all available categories are also combined in a brand new health trends summary. This overview allows you to look at your health holistically, from steps to glucose and everything in between. Another feature which you might find useful with an iOS 15 is sharing. If your friends or family are on Apple iOS, you can share your blood glucose data and all other health metrics through the health app. This provides a secure and private way of sharing your health data with your loved ones. Proactive trends like Camille's glucose is higher this week compared to last week are also shared with your loved ones so they can have a holistic view of your health. 
You can choose to share a specific metric like glucose or share your entire Apple help database. Now, word of warning, CGMs like Dexcom have a three hour delay when saving data into Apple Health Kit. So this is not a real time solution. The, the aim here really is to provide those long, long term patterns and trends. Those are the main updates to the health app from Apple, including blue glucose highlights and blood glucose trends. Now, Apple also announced a bunch of other little updates that I think you will find very interesting. Now, starting with watchOS, which is the operating system for the Apple Watch. With watchOS 8, apps can now stay opened in full screen when you put your wrist down. Developers can make their app work full screen in the dimmed mode. I seriously hope that CGM manufacturers like Dexcom and Eversense both implement this into their Apple Watch apps as this could be super easy. Just another sunny day in Southern California. iOS 15 together with watchOS 8 and all new health capabilities that we just discussed are coming to your iPhone and Apple Watch this fall. Those are the glucose announcements from this year's Worldwide Developer Conference from Apple. I can't wait to hear from you. Do let me know what you think about them in the comments. Will you use blood glucose highlights to track your glucose during exercise and during your bedtime? Are you going to be checking out trends? Will this become the new clarity for you? Let me know. Also, I can't wait to hear from you about glucose monitoring capabilities for the Apple Watch. Do you think Apple will launch a, an Apple Watch which can track glucose? If so, tell me why. If you don't think it will happen, tell me why. I can't wait to have these conversations in the comments, so I will see you there. Until then, stay safe and stay kind. I'll speak to you soon. Bye.